the important character files. Gold and icon missions. Gold and icon missions. NASA in the later part of 2018 is going to do a project to study ionosphere. To study ionosphere. Gold and icon projects. Gold and icon missions of NASA are meant to study ionosphere. Gold and icon missions of NASA are meant to study ionosphere. They are going to explore ionosphere later this year. Gold and icon missions. Gold means global scale observations. Global scale observations of the limb and the disc. Global scale observations of the limb, L-I-M-B limb and the disc, D-I-S-K. Global scale observations of the limb and the disc, G-O-L-D. Icon means Inosphere, Inosphere, Connection Explorer. Icon means Inosphere, Connection Explorer. Today, January 9th, is India's Pravas Bharti Divas. India's Pravas Bharti Divas. In Pravas Bharti Divas, Mahatma Gandhi, the greatest Pravasi, Mahatma Gandhi, the greatest Pravasi, he came back to India on January 19, January 9th. Mahatma Gandhi, the greatest Pravasi, came back to India on January 9th, 1915. To commemorate this and to reconnect Indian diaspora to India, every year we celebrate from 2003 onwards. Pravas Bharti Divas and regional Pravas Bharti Divas India is celebrating with Asian in Singapore India Asian Pravas Bharti Divas we are holding it in Singapore there is a new term in newspapers in the world, in particular in Britain, Latch Levy, L A T T E, Latch L E V Y, Latch Levy, L A T T E, Latch Levy. Britain is considering, Britain is considering implementing a Latch tax, implementing a Latch. LATT lack tax to curb the to curb the consumption of to curb the consumption of disposable coffee club cups lack levy to curb the consumption of disposable coffee cups it wanted to introduce reusable coffee cups by increasing tax on disposable coffee cups, people will be discouraged to use disposable coffee cups. People will be discouraged to use disposable coffee cups. We want to have reusable. That's the reason why Britain goes for reusable coffee cups. Monkey Dia tribe. 
Mankiria M A N K I D I A or M O N. You can write in both. Mankiria M O N K I D I A tribe. It is, it is a Mankiria tribe is a particularly vulnerable tribal group. Mankiria tribe is a particularly vulnerable tribal group. Earlier we used to call them as primitive tribes. Now they are called particularly vulnerable tribal group based in Orissa. Based in Orissa. They were in news with respect to Simli Park Tiger Reserve. Simli Park Tiger Reserve is located in Orissa. They were in news with respect to Simli Park Tiger Reserve. Their livelihood depends on making the rope off with some fiber. They make some ropes with some fiber. And now the fiber is available. The fiber is available in Simli Park Tiger Reserve. And uh, they got rights to enter into Simli Park Tiger Reserve. You know the reason? We have in 2006 an act called Scheduled Tribes and Other Traditional Forest Dwellers Act 2006. Scheduled Tribes and Other Traditional Forest Dwellers Act 2006. Based on this, those who are residing in forests, the tribals are certain groups who are residing in forests for a long time, they can Collect some minor forest produce for the livelihood and other issues. Okay, so Mankiria tribe, Simlipar Tiger Reserve, Odisha. You should remember. Next, Ojal layer. Three years back, in UPSC Films question paper, the protocol relating to ozone layer is Montreal Protocol. This question have come. The protocol relating to ozone layer is Montreal Protocol. This question have come. After this protocol, you know chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, got reduced. Country started some norms into that. Now, ozone layer is, the hole is shrinking. So that means, the hole is shrinking. We are doing better in ozone layer. And by 2016, it is expected that the whole, the entire hole will go away. Ozone layer will become intact by 2016. Thanks to Montreal Protocol. Montreal Protocol. And regarding this, last year there is one more protocol, one more agreement, one more summit called Kigali. K I G A L I. Kigali summit last year. It related to HFCs. Kigali summit in 2016 is related to hydrofluorocarbons. HFCs. Okay, you should also read about Kigali, which is important for exam. If you take today's newspaper, Hindu newspaper, larger bench to decide on section 377 of IPC. Larger bench to decide on section 377 of Indian Penal Code. It is IPC defines crimes and prescribes punishments for crimes. Indian Penal Code 1816 defines crimes and prescribes punishments for crimes. Section 377 of IPC deals with unnatural offences. Section 377 of IPC deals with unnatural offences. Unnatural offences means the offences committed which are against nature, 
Ucha against nature. An intercourse between a man and a man, woman and a woman, or any intercourse between a human being and other living creatures comes under unnatural offense. It is a it is a punishable in law. It is punishable according to the law. Delhi High Court, initially Delhi High Court, in Nas Foundation case, N A Z. Initially, Delhi High Court, in Nas Foundation case, told that Section 377, Section 377, with respect to Section 377, with respect to LGBTs is unconstitutional. Section 377 with respect to LGBTs is unconstitutional. Whereas Supreme Court overruled the decision given by Delhi High Court. Supreme Court overruled the decision given by the Delhi High Court in Suresh Kumar Kaushal versus Naj Foundation. In Suresh Kumar Kaushal versus Naj Foundation, and Supreme Court told. Section 377 is constitutional. So that means you can punish for lesbian relationship or gay relationship, any unnatural relationship. And this raised eyebrows in most of the modern experts. They say if you don't disturb others, any relationship between a lesbian or a gay is a natural instinct. Why should we punish them? The relationship is a natural instinct. That is their personal issue. They have right to privacy. They have right to privacy. Why we should punish them? Many told, even there are diversified news appeared in the media regarding this. But as you all know, in 2017, Puttaswami versus Union of India, right to privacy is considered as fundamental right. In Puttaswami versus Union of India, right to privacy is considered as fundamental right. Based on this, now again, the case was referred, Suresh Kumar Kaushal case, the section 377 issue, the review was sent to larger bench of the Supreme Court. Let us see now how this bench is going to decide regarding LGBT rights and section 377 and uh, while giving judgment in Suresh Kumar Kaushal case the Supreme Court told when something is an aberration when something happens very rarely if you legalize it if you decriminalize it it will become a rule so let us protect Indian culture in the Indian society we should not allow LGBTs relationships. That was Supreme Court's idea. But now, after right to privacy judgment, we should also consider the new angle of LGBT rights, whether the Supreme Court will make section 377 as constitutional or unconstitutional, we have to wait and see. The next fact is about cyber crimes. The Ministry of Home Affairs yesterday said that the victims of cyber crime the victims of cyber crime now can give online complaints. They can go online and can give complaint. Here you should remember a word. Set in. C E R T I N. Computer Emergency Response Team India. C E R T. Computer Emergency Response Team India. Certain. Okay, Computer Emergency Response Team India, you have to remember in the Indian context. And in Telangana, Mr. Bodhendra, who was an activist in JSA, announced that he is going to float a political party next month. He is going to float a political party next month. This is also an important news. Telangana politics might See, see some change with this new party. But again, uh, as you all know, activism might not result in political 
it, not, it, won't, it won't work in political dimension. If you see Iron Shenula, who went for fasting for 16 years against AFSPA, Armed Forces Special Powers Act, when she contested elections, she got around 70 votes. Whereas, a person who was eligible to be a rapist in Uttar Pradesh got elected with a thumping majority. So, we should also think about real politic. We should also consider the real politic. Remember this. Next. Today's editorial is on data theft. Data theft. One journalist in Tribune newspaper in WhatsApp there was a very big girl, dissemination dash. In WhatsApp there is a big dissemination dash. For 500 rupees, other data can be available. Without contacting Udai, any person's Ara data is available for 500 rupees. This created a very big havoc. And Udai filed a police complaint against the tribune and the journalist. This issue is this issue is making important an important meaning. We have to understand something out of this. There is a sense. This is not about tribune. It is not about issue. It is about data privacy. Rather than constructively making a privacy law, government should work for constructive making a privacy law. Rather than thinking about filing a complaint against tribune all the things, it is better to have proper privacy law and data protection. This issue should be seen in a larger prism, larger perspective. Okay. Next article, dark clouds across Asia. Dark clouds across Asia. This article is related to 2017, how Asia is there, how the things went on in Asia and in 2018 whether it is going to have a good year for Asia or a bleak year for Asia. As far as other rights, dark clouds. Dark clouds means bleak future in 2018. Bleak means very bland, not that good. Here comes, there are various issues like China becoming great power and instability and threat to the state in Afghanistan, Syria, China-Pakistan friendship, terrorism in the region and how geopolitical, geoeconomic, geostrategic changes are coming up in the Asian region, America's pivot Asia policy, North Korea's aggrandizement, North Korea's aggrandizement, India's steadfast role, and Belt and Road Initiative of China, Belt and Road Initiative of China, entire articles was revolving around that. Okay? And it is proje there is a projection that 2018 year is going to be a very tough year for Asia. The year 2018 is going to be very tough for Asia. Next article. Theatre of the Absurd. Theatre of the Absurd. This article is related to a book on Trump. Theatre of the Absurd is the article related to a book related to Donald Trump. Fire and the Fury. Fire and the Fury. This article portrayed Trump in a negative way. This book, this book portrayed Trump in a negative way. And Trump was very serious against this book. But the book was very popular now. It was launched and it was short time, few days. The book, the content of the book is spreading like a wildfire. So this is this was against 
Donald Trump. And let's start with uh, the Liberian example. In Liberia, the West African country, a small country in West Africa called Liberia, uh, after dictatorship, first time a democratic rule have come. First time a democratic rule have come. The former football player George V. G E O R G George W E N H won the election. George V won the elections, and this is going to make a very good change in the politics in Liberia, and also shows a democratic wave in Liberia. The next topic is on the age of crypto economics. The age of crypto economics. Cryptocurrency. In 2018, either in films, mains or interview, directly or indirectly, this question might come. This question might come. Cryptocurrency, as you all know, it was not regulated by the government. No hard currency can be seen. It's a virtual currency. And it operates in blockchain technology. Blockchain technology means to avoid duplication. For example, if I have hard currency, 100 rupees note, if I purchase something from you, I cannot use the same 100 rupees note for second purchase. But here, cryptocurrency has a chance that I can use in a duplication. Two, three times I can use the same currency. To avoid that, a blockchain technology is used. Means when you use particular a denomination, that will be blocked. Again, new denomination will come. Again, new denomination will come. This is one of the things. And uh, this technology is good. But at the same time, when if it goes unregulated, it will produce disastrous results. It will produce completely disastrous results. Okay? This is what is the age of crypto economics. And there is one more article on contested history. Contested history. Here, the story is about Manipur. You need not go for enter article. Nagas, Pukis, Metis. Nagas, Pukis, Metis. The three important tribal groups present in Manipur. Everyone have their own demand. Everyone have their own demand. And six months back, there was a bifurcation of districts in Manipur. And uh, there was an agitation in, in uh, Manipur related to that. There was a blockade also. You have to read the role of Nagas, Kukis and Metis. I will explain separately. Next article again is about Bhima Koreyon issue. Bhima Koreyon issue, you know that issue. These are the important current affairs. 